menu today. Dion's media team, headed up by his son Dion Jr., caught and posted this exchange between Dion and his son Shadur and Shiloh as they were sitting up in a box watching Sunday's game at Mile High, Denver Broncos versus Washington. Shiloh broached the subject of wanting to be down on an NFL field next season. Now check out Dion's reaction. Well, we kind of got into it once we came in. Shiloh said, oh, wow, she go look. This is, you going to be in the NFL next year. As you know, he ain't. I didn't say you. I said, we got to play some next year. I said, both of us. <laughs> what you say, we? I said, we got to play them next year. Play who? So what you, yeah. what you trying to say? What you trying to say? What y'all ain't going to win? Three seven one. The note on that is. Uh, <laughs> I get a bad answer. Remember you said that. <laughs> so Dion says y'all ain't going nowhere. And for the record, Shadur and Shiloh would be eligible for the upcoming NFL draft. But understand, thanks to the pandemic, Shadur has potentially three more years of college oh. eligibility. Oh and Shiloh, God. even though he's two years older than Shadur at age 23, still has one more year of college eligibility, even though he's already listed as a graduate student. Okay, so Keyshawn, if you were Shadur and or Shiloh, what would you choose to do next year? I would choose to go back to school mm. um, because Really, in situations when you're in college, a lot of the leaving early stuff plays into financial reward mm -hmm. because we need the money. Yep. We, we do. In their case, I ain't counting Dion's money, but something tells me <laughs> they, don't they, don't they don't need the money, <laughs> right? And, and it's a different game when it comes to NIL as well. Yep. On top of that, I want my dad to succeed, mm -hmm. and I know he, he'll have a better opportunity to be successful and succeed with me quarterback in the team mm -hmm. and me playing defensive back than somebody else. Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is they don't need the money. Mm -hmm. So if you don't need the money, there is no stress level to go. And on top of that, you can go to school. You can, you can be a kid. Right. There's no real rush. I remember the opportunity for me my junior year was to come out of school. And I did the whole process Got all the information. And on top of that, before that I even go... First year at and that was SC. my first year yep. at USC. Mm -hmm. And I could have been a top 10 pick. Okay. But my mom said, I've been broke for a long time, six more months. I could, I could be broke six more months. And you're going to graduate from school. Mm -hmm. You're going to do all of those sort of things. The best thing that has happened to these two kids that is the best, and you'll know what I'm talking about, they can get the information. Mm -hmm. They get the information. Mm -hmm. See, college coaches... They'll hate me right now, some of these college coaches, because I'm giving away their secret. <laughs> they don't tell these kids the truth mm -hmm. about where they're at in terms of the next level. He is going to tell them the truth because guess what he's getting? He's getting real information. Mm -hmm. Not this, I'm going to put you on the phone with my friend who went to college with me who's a scout with the Buffalo Bills who's going to tell you to stay in school to help me. Right. They don't have to go through that process. They got the daddy. Right. Daddy can pick up the phone and call anybody. Right. Hey, what you think about Shadur? Well, Shadur, you know, right now, we have him ranked here, probably want to stay in school. Uh, what you think about Shiloh? Well, Shiloh right now is here. He probably want to stay. You get the real information. Right. Yep. Because that's his dad. Mm -hmm. With other coaches, when these situations come up, sometimes you don't get the real information mm -hmm. because it becomes selfish for them yep. to be able to keep you. I got it. I think they're going to make the best decision. They're going to make a smart decision. And it's going to be an informed decision, to keep yes. John's point. They, yes. go, they, they, they have a way for you to get evaluated. They send you your grade back, et cetera, et cetera. I don't think that will matter mm. in this situation yep. because of this, because of Prime. Prime has coached them since they were in high school. He coached them. I think he didn't coach Shiloh for one year when he was at South Carolina, mm -hmm. but he's coached them all the way, almost all yeah, the way through their college career. Two years at South and, Carolina. And, and maybe the started. last opportunity yep. mm -hmm. he has to coach them on the biggest stage that they may ever be able to be as a family yep. in the most successful way. So could he, could he get Shiloh more than he would get as a rookie, rookie minimum in the National Football League? Potentially. You get draft picked, depending on where you go, he could probably get him a million, a million bucks, $800,000 next year to say, hey, NIL, look, this is what you would have made in the league. Look, I got you. Stay another year with your dad. You get the money. 
And then Shador, Shador, would, if he went first round, top 10, you know, he'd get a lot of money. Maybe Prime can convince them. But if he says, hey, I know what we did this year was special, mm -hmm. but Travis can't leave yet. Travis isn't even eligible for the draft or That's else true. he would go and it wouldn't be no question. True. But we could come back and do something special. This transfer portal this year, whew, people didn't know what to expect. This was a 111 Colorado team. Yep. The transfer portal this year is going to be insane. We're going to get everybody. That offensive line is going to look totally different. That defensive line, we always talked about it. When they get that D-line and big fellas up yeah. front, it's going to be a whole different beast, and they're going to have an opportunity to do that. It's just one of those situations where if Prime says, hey, we got a chance at a national championship, sons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a family, your dad coaching a national to do something that has never been done, something we probably have talked but it's about also, and dreamed about. But it's also not it's not financially driven. Where Travis Hunter's situation, if he was eligible, mm -hmm. Dion would tell him it's time to go take care of mama. It's time to take mm -hmm. care of mama because that's why I got you to come to Jackson State to put you in this position to take care of mama. Mm -hmm. Shador and Shiloh is totally different situation. They need to continue to grow as players. When you look at pro football focus, they got Shadour right now in the 44th overall player, which means that's the middle of the second round when that's just them. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean it, it, the season's not even over with. Yep. Seventh overall quarterback, even though Mel Kuyper has him ranked, I think, third mm -hmm. out of the quarterback position. So Dion knows that it's going, they need to be better to be able to maximize their talent at the next level, you don't want to go in there mm -hmm. somewhat raw because they won't give you the opportunity and a chance to develop. That's just how coaches are, right? And you go to the wrong situations. Yeah. So the best thing for them, in my opinion, though, is, is in all honesty, is to probably just stay in school and get better at their craft, something that, you know, they, they certainly need to do. Sure. I'm with you both, but big picture, and you both played high-level college football. It well, I did. I played like, at SC. Stanford yeah. ain't. Well, That's Stanford. high level education. We beat them. All right, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Did you beat them? Yeah. Yeah, we beat them when they were. He the caught a one. touchdown in the corner of the end zone his freshman year. Yeah, that was the sophomore year. Sophomore I caught a fourth year. and 20. We beat them when they were number one. We were 40. Yeah, you gave fourth up a fourth and, and 20. Fourth and 20. 21 to a dude that was a stick. stick. Fight on. Jeez. Gave up With an ugly number. What number were you? Nine. Good. Yeah, it was ugly. I remember. Left hand, left corner going into the tunnel. On the left-hand side. That was Mark Bradford. I called oh, okay. him 20 Mark, before, okay. but Mark Bradford yeah, called Mark Bradford. It, and his dad had passed away that, yeah. that week. Oh, it was 41-point oh, underdogs. Great. Greatest upset in college football history. What's your deal, bro? <laughs> that came too. Oh, my God. So Thank here's you, what it feels like in the bigger picture. It feels like the NCAA is finally trying to fight back against the NFL by saying, hey, we got the pandemic. We now got the portal. We now got NIL. Hey, if you, if you guys want to stay, just stay. If Shadur wants to play three more years of college football, it, it'll benefit us a lot more than it's going to benefit to him, maybe, because we will have a superstar quarterback mm -hmm. for three. Now, I can't see Shadur playing three uh, more years of college neither. football. Yeah. But the point is, I believe by next year, this team at Colorado will be a top five preseason team, right. if not a top two or three, like a, like a one. Mm -hmm. They like, certainly will be in the top ten. You're right. Okay. I don't know. I think when you beef up what they are, and they've only just begun this year because I think they're going to give Oregon all Oregon wants because they can score on Oregon. Can they win at Oregon? It's hard. See, the only reason yeah. why only reason why I, I don't want to say pushback, but the only reason why I say top ten is because you got to understand the SEC ain't about to let them climb in to be the <laughs> top three or four teams. <laughs> they just not they they they, they, they just not going to do that, right? They're going into the Big Twelve, so. They not gonna try to get a Big 12 any love, and if they would stay in the Pac-10, Pac-12, they certainly wouldn't there give them any certain. love at all, Skip. Right? So Alabama, they gonna always keep them up there. They always gonna try to keep LSU up there. Tennessee's gonna hover around. Georgia's Georgia. the Georgia's the big elephant in the whole. Mm -hmm. You know, they the bear. They the, the ones that control everything. So when you start stacking that up, you're like, well, they gonna put them in front of USC. What? So that's the only reason why I say that. So what is LeBron's goal right now in the NBA? It's to try to last long enough to, to no, somehow to connect with his son, mm -hmm. right? To, 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 no, no, to connect with his son. Because it would be so special, special. for LeBron to, to actually share a locker room and maybe a starting lineup with his son for just one year. And the last guy to do that right. in professional sports are the Griffies, right? Yeah. Right. And, the, yeah, the Griffies, and, and then the, the Bonds didn't quite cross over, but you've got that father-son. Yeah. But my point is... 
This is a trillion to one shot. Right. This is nothing like this has ever remotely happened where a father who was a superstar, I think the greatest athlete ever, could coach his sons for one more year and the quarterback for maybe two or three more. If he chose three, but to your point, he's not going to choose three, but maybe two if he wanted to. He's taught by Tom Brady. It's like his personal quarterback coach is Tom Brady. So he's only going to get better and better. I always worry about college injuries, but at the quarterback position, I'm not so so skeptical. Well, you know, that's that's yeah, always yeah. a risk. I just yeah, had so. a, a, a brainstorm because, you know, I get these crazy thoughts, especially with Deion really? in Colorado, kind of crazy guy. What if they all come back for a second year? Because right now, Shador is, like you said, top three quarterback, seven on PFF, yada, yada, yada. But what if he comes back a year, all those quarterbacks that He's are supposed to go? Back. Right. All those quarterbacks that are supposed to go this year go, and, and a couple more. Yeah. He would likely be projected the one or two highest quarterback next next season. I would I would assume. I'm yeah, sure but see, this is come out of nowhere. But then the team that's picking one or two in the draft is usually firing a coach because they just had an awful season. Oh, so, so you're what, doing a Dallas. So uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm saying Prime gets picked up by one of those teams, oh, whoever yeah. it could be. You know, oh, I don't I think see, Dallas okay. is going to be picking no, one or two. No, no, no. no Dallas and, won't be and, picking and, one or two. Exactly. 